The cheese making process at Bunker Hill Cheese begins early in the morning with the delivery of milk from hundreds of Amish family farms across Ohio. Milk is poured from the cans and stored in a huge 40,000 gallon milk cooler. A small sample of milk is analyzed to check the fat content and check the level of milk solids. These levels are checked so the cheese comes out the same each time it is made. The milk is pasteurized and the fat content is adjusted to assure the consistency and wholesomeness of this glorious byproduct of milk. Milk is transferred into the large stainless steel vats for the beginning of the transformation process which turns milk into cheese. A starter culture, not unlike yeast that has been used for bread, is added to the milk. This starter culture is what gives each variety of cheese its unique flavor, body, and texture. If a yellow cheese is being made, a natural food coloring called annatto is added during the fourth step. It is annatto which gives the golden yellow shades of color to cheddar and Colby cheeses. Coagulin, which is an ingredient that makes milk form into curds, is added to the vat and evenly distributed by automated paddles. The milk is also heated and stirred. The temperature is carefully controlled to keep the enzymes from the starter culture active. The milk turns into a custard-like gel as it thickens. It is in this step where the milk starts to turn more into cheese. The temperature in the vat varies as to the type of cheese being made. Cutting the gel with the traditional cheese harp is done by hand. The master cheesemaker chooses just the right moment to cut the gel so curds start forming in the vat. The cheese harp is passed through the gel to cut it into little blocks or cubes. These cubes will form into the curd. The milk is cooled for a length of time depending on the type of cheese being made. Again, the temperature is carefully controlled to assure uniformity for each variety of cheese. The milk is separated into two components, curds and whey. The whey is drained from the vat and transferred to a holding tank where this byproduct of cheese making is processed into other products, most notably ricotta cheese. The next step in cheese making is curd transformation. Here the curds are cut and stacked or pulled and the whey is for the drain from the curd. Salt is added in this step to enhance flavor, texture, and to extend the shelf life of the cheese. The final drops of whey are pressed out of the curd for a minimum of 12 hours. The long round shapes of cheese are called horns. They are then cut into the familiar wheels. Blocks and bricks are also formed. The final step of cheese making is curing. The wheels and bricks are immersed in a brine bath, smoked, or stored in wooden boxes for a length of time. With Swiss cheese, it may be aged from three to nine months, depending on the mildness or sharpness desired. In carefully controlled temperature and humidity conditions, the different cheeses take on their characteristic flavors, textures, and aromas that make the difference between Swiss, cheddar, or yogurt cheese. The longer a cheese is aged determines the sharpness of the cheese. Baby Swiss and farmer's cheese is aged for a very short time, which gives it the smooth, buttery texture and mild flavor. These types of cheese will melt easier. On the other hand, sharp cheddar is aged for a much longer period of time, which gives it the distinct grainy texture and bold aromatic flavor. The traditional eyes, or holes, one finds in Swiss cheese are the result of the type of starter culture that was added to the milk early in the cheese making process. The texture of Colby and yogurt cheese is the result of washing and cooling the curd with water after the whey is drained. This is what gives these types of cheese their open texture. Bunker Hill Cheese has retained the original quality of their workmanship and individual input and care, even though the business has evolved from cottage industries to modern facilities. The cheese they make maintains the same old-fashioned flavor as the misty morning in the time-standing still countryside of Holmes County. <music>